An 18 year old is dead tonight after a motorcycle crash at Oceano Dunes. It marks the sixth death at the dunes this year. Good evening. I'm Kirsten Mitchell. That accident happened east of the competition hill around 3:30 this afternoon. CBS 47's Angelica Leilani is live in the studio. Angelica, this all comes after a meeting on Thursday with the California Coastal Commission about safety at the dunes. That's right, Kirsten. And in an eight to two vote, the California Coastal Commission rejected a proposal to restrict off roading at Oceana Dunes, tabling it until next year. And we spoke with a local woman who frequently the dunes. She says this has been a sad but rare year for deaths. The Oceana Dunes near Pismo Beach has been a place usually known for its fun ATV and motorcycle off-roading, but in recent months it's known for the number of deaths. This past Thursday, a 47-year-old man from Arizona died in an accident. Then today, an 18-year-old from Sacramento was killed as well. It's the sixth confirmed death this year. It's, it's sad. This all comes after a public meeting the California Coastal Commission held this past week. While a few there wanted to shut down the popular dunes, many were hoping for a different outcome. And in an 8-2 to two vote, the commission rejected a proposal to restrict off-roading at Oceana Dunes, instead asking for a management plan addressing concerns by next year. But the sections are already closed. They have shut quite a bit of it down already. I mean, there was a lot more terrain out there. They, they're slowly shutting it down, you know. And her family were just at the dunes last week. She says the dunes can be a dangerous place for those who aren't familiar. They change all the time. You could be flat land and all of a sudden you're going to have a, a 30, 20, 30 foot drop. You just got to approach these, these dunes cautiously. But she calls the number of deaths this year rare. We go out there and it's like some little crash in a quad or whatever, but they don't die. You know, they'll get hurt or whatever a little bit. I mean, I crashed out there and you know, broke my collarbone. And officials have not released the name of the young man just yet, but say he was wearing a helmet at the time of the collision and say he was equipped with a whip and flag. Officials do not believe alcohol or drugs were involved. In the studio tonight, I'm Angelica Leilani, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.